Hey everybody, this is Sharif down here in Houston, Texas. Um, actually down here at the Graffiti Park. They call this Graffiti Park in Houston, Texas. And it's basically buildings around here with large murals on the outside of the building. Different artists come down here and they basically um, paint these buildings. And this has been here for years. Things like that. So I'm going to attempt to get some stock footage of this area. I will be shooting in the shadows and I'm going to use a DJI Inspire 2 so we can actually see how well it does in the shadows. I will be shooting in ProRes RAW. If I didn't have ProRes RAW, I wouldn't be trying to do this. But just more about the area. It's a large building. I'm going to walk all the way around it so you can see it. But if you ever want to come down here, I'll show you the street. This is the street. So we got... got Emmanuel, let's see, you better, Emmanuel and Bell. So if you come down here across from downtown Houston, go to St. Emmanuel 1500 and Bell 2000, Street 2000, you should be able to find this little. Let me just take you around the building so we can see what we got here. Uh, and I'll be showing the building, but like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually switch and do like drone footage and things like that. So let me just take you, um, actually let me turn this camera around so you can see the building. So this is what we're going to be filming. And like I said, I'm shooting in the shadows. The sun, as you can see, you look over here. So the sun is on the opposite side of the building. And I will go around there. There are more people over there. And usually on the weekends, this place is pretty packed. And um, I mean, you got street vendors that be out here selling food and merchandise and things like that. Um, you just got people that just be hanging out. You got the bikers, people with custom cars, things like that. So it should be all good, but we're going to just film around here and get this location. And like I said, I'm going to try to get some nice cinematic shots of this area. And... Let me just go out so you can see how bright it is. So we're going to be shooting into the shadows. And like I said, I'm going to pull out the drone and we're going to get things like that. So we have the George Floyd mirror over here. You know, it says here, Texas home of mass incarceration and voter suppression. So we're going to get all this. We got Selena. Everyone knows Selena. Definitely from Texas. So we got a mirror of her. And these murals actually been, all the other murals have changed, but the one of Selena and um, George Floyd has been here for a long time. I mean, like over a year. Usually these things change like months at a time. You know, a couple of months they'll be here and then they'll change and things like that. But those two murals have stayed there. So it just shows you the respect that people have for those two individuals. But let's walk around the building. And let's get this building. Um, so I, saw, I showed you this part, the shadows, and we will be shooting in the shadows. So hopefully, let me collect my camera there. Okay, so we're just gonna walk around. Like I said, be more people on this side. And what I don't like about it, it used to be, you see on the other side, it was open. Um, a lot of parking over here and just a lot of room to move around, but they put up some barricades for some reason. I, get, I think they were just trying to stop people from coming down here and hanging out and things like that, which is unfortunate because it was such a nice spot. You know, never had any problems or anything as far as I know. People just come down here, hang out, things like that, and enjoy each other and um, enjoy the um, murals. But like I said, they put up these barricades and not... <laughs> I just have no clue why they did that, but um, maybe, maybe they had an incident down here or something. But let me show you these barricades they put up. See, like this right here, this used to be wide open. So, you know, people would be all here, just hanging out, um, you know, listening to music, you have food trucks, things like that. And then you have the murals over here. So these are the murals we're going to be trying to capture and things like that. Used to be able to just walk straight through here, but you know, now, you can't even do that so just give me an idea of murals and we're going to walk around so let me just walk 
Actually, let me show you. See these barricades? Oh, I just hate that they did this. So, let's just walk around here. Another street, if you want to find this location, is Lee Lin Street. There you go, Lee Lin Street. I don't know if you can see that. And you got St. Emmanuel. So, if you just want to check out these streets, I'm not trying to make this video too long. So, all right, so, so that gives you an idea. So, we're going to actually, <laughs> barriers might work in my favor because I can just put my drone here and just, you know, fly it without being interrupted before you had to work around a lot of other people and things like that. So let's go over here and you'll see the Houston side. Now, many of you probably have seen this so many times. Cause, I mean, they had shot so many music videos down here. A lot of photography happens. The Houston sign here. Now, I won't be shooting the Houston sign. Not today. But we got this over here. So you got all this. I really love that sister with the big afro. That's a good shot right there. So I'm not going to really get in this area. I might. I'll see. But this area definitely, I think I'm going to try to get over in this area and things like that it's super bright but we're going to start on the other side and actually you know, we can walk all the way around yeah let me go all the way around so yeah as you can see go all the way around don't get all of this I'm just going to take y'all on the process of getting this that mirror actually the one with the nurse there I think I'm pointing to it that's been there for a while too so that happened during COVID they put that up there for people to respect the nurses and things like that so that's good. I, I like that they kept that there for that long. Oh yeah, I like that one too. Kind of like a 70s type thing. Mirror, I know you can't solve it down there. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get all that. Oh, you know what? I walked right past. I forgot, they have mirrors on this side too. So you can see these mirrors. Let's walk back over here. So we're gonna get all well, maybe not with the drone, not these mirrors right here, but I'll give you an idea. This is, like I said, this is Graffiti Park, and it'd be packed down here on weekends. At least it used to be when they didn't have all those barriers. So here we go. Familia, family. Okay. So this is what we're going to try to capture. So let me start heading back to the car. But yeah, so let's head on back to the car, get my equipment. Like I said, I will be using the DJI Inspire 2. That's a little loud walking next to the service drive here. Downtown Houston, right across the street, so. All wars. That's interesting. The sign says, all wars are created equal. <laughs> all right, so we back on the side where I'm gonna start from. Hopefully this goes well, and you know, I'll show you all the ProRes Raw, see how well it does in these shadows, in this harsh sunlight, because it's about 2.30, so yeah, it's about the middle of the day. Um, typically, I try not to shoot, you know, got to work with the sun, use that as your source of light, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. This is one of those situations where I'm gonna have to do what I got to do. All right, so I'll be right back with the drone. All right, y'all, so we're back with the DJI Inspire 2, and this is the camera we're gonna use to get some nice cinematic shots here. Uh, let me open this up. And the DJI Inspire 2 is not, it's not as big as you think it is. It is a big camera, so I don't wanna lie to you, but it's not as big as you think it is. But what we're going to be using here is the X7 camera, Zenmoose X7 camera. 
So the lens I want to use, we're going to do the 24. So we're going to put the 24 here. Hope y'all can see this. So let me put this. Put this 24 on here. Now I'm going to use a ND filter, but we can't go too heavy on ND filters since we're really shooting in the shadows. And if I um, go over to the sun area, then we can switch out the ND filter. So what I'm going to do, is we're going to use a ND4. ND4. I hope the ND4 turns out well. Might be, you know what? For the shadows, no, let's use an ND2. I know, uh, really taking a risk with going that low, but we're going to do the ND2. Because I don't anticipate, like I said, we're just trying to get the building here. So, and I will be using ProRes Raw. So let's put this on here. All right, turn this over here move the drone over a little bit more so we got the camera on there we have the um the batteries let me get my phone put the phone on here and this setup actually does not take as long to set up as people make it out to be it took me a while to get the dji inspired too because i thought oh it's gonna be so hard to set up and take long and it's not like these other drones where you can just open it up and pretty much be ready in like 30 seconds this this drone literally i can have it up in the air and ready in less than five minutes so that's not too bad of a setup time and so let me make sure there we go so that's not too bad so I'm just going to put on the propellers and I'm actually moving a little slower here because I'm recording and <laughs> and talking. So like I say, I move a lot faster and I want to get this set up. So let's do that. Hopefully this all goes well. Sorry that I'm all in the camera. So you just put the propellers on, match them up. All right. So I think we're ready to fly here. I don't think I'm gonna do screen record. I'm just gonna show you the final video. All right, so we got the drone all set up. And what I'm gonna do, let me adjust the camera here. So I'm gonna put the drone out here. Got some cars that just pulled up. So let me move this. We're going to set up right here. Hopefully this works. <laughs> now I'm just going to get some nice slow shots. Nothing, nothing fancy or anything like that. Let's cut on the camera. Cut on the drone. Right remote. Okay, let me make sure I'm filming myself here. Cut on the drone. Make sure I got the app set up correctly. Now, it's gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna have to move down there. Guess I can get this side first. All right, let me just set up my camera here, ProRes RAW HQ, uh, got it on the mode that I want to set it on, oh you know what, so let me 
minus the contrast here. Make sure this is in focus. Okay, this is actually looking pretty good. And I'm going to walk with this. Make sure we got the Okay, so we're going to put it on custom white balance of 6800. All right, so let me try to get some of this. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. And I want to kind of get up. And we're going to just get a nice shot here. Gonna come out some. So even the. All right, so here we go. Go this way slowly. Like I say, nothing, nothing too, nothing too extreme. Get that shot here. It's turning out nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's stop it right there. Let's get a shot where we just kind of go forward. Oh, that looks so nice. How that is. Make sure no cars coming. Don't want no car to hit my drone. Okay, I don't know if y'all can still see me. But we're just going to go forward. Oh, that is so nice. That looks really good. And I'll show y'all this shot on screen as we're doing it. All right. That might have been a little too fast. Let me do that again. Very nice. Real slow. Here we go. Oh, that's good. All right. I'm actually going to do that one more time. Do this one time. Make sure the cars don't tear up my drone. All right, here we go. Go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Okay. All right, so let me land it, and we're going to move locations here, as y'all can see. Can y'all see the draw? Make sure, make sure you don't get cut with these propellers, because these hurt. Don't ask me how I know. All right, so we land in the drone. All right, and I'll be right back with a different location. We're going to go over there and get the George Floyd and Selena. All right, y'all, we're back. It's taking me a little long time to do this because I keep getting people that stop and want to talk to me about the drone or other things. You know, a lot of tourists around here, so they're trying to figure out places to go. But we're going to fly this drone, and I'm going to get these murals right here. I got some people coming up, so I got to be very strategic about this. So, okay. Let me set up my shot. There we go. We want to get. And we're just going to go to the right here. So we're going to do like a dolly shot. Oh, that's nice. Try to go slow, 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 slow. Now, I'll put this up on the screen. 
once I edit this. Ah, my camera's up too high. So let me bring it down. Actually, let me get this shot just going forward. George Floyd mural. Let me, I'm just gonna back up. And I'm gonna go, go to the forward, go slow. Slow, go slow. That's a little too fast. Ah. Okay, so let me let me back this up a little bit. I'm too close. I gotta let me see. I'm about to run out of battery on this one. So let me uh, just go, go slow, slow, slow. In these mirrors. Oh, oh! I'm next to the pole there. Oh. Uh. All right, let me concentrate, y'all, because it's hard for me to concentrate. Look at that Texas sign. It's about to give me the... Make sure I hit that dog on pole. Okay. So let me come, because I'm about to be out of battery life. So let me just go back real slow. Real slow. Oh, this is a good shot. This is a good shot. I got the shot that I want. Okay, let me just keep going. Keep going. And I'm gonna come back. Uh, all right. So let me change out this battery right quick. Let me land the drone. And like I say, we're not gonna do anything crazy or anything like that. We're just going to film these murals. So, change out these batteries. Ugh. Get this out. Got my little pouch here. Ugh. Ugh. That don't mess up my thing. All right, so let me try to hurry up before I get some more people <laughs> that want to come up and ask questions. I don't mind at all. I don't get bothered by that stuff. People want to know information, so. Okay, so let me set this up. Put this back in the air. Cut this on. I see why having a cameraman is so important. All right, here we go. There it is. All right, take off. So let's just go up here. Let me back up. All right, y'all. So. Let me turn this way so y'all can see my drone. But basically, I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna get this shot with this hole and wires in the foreground. So, you know what? Using that MV2 actually works out really good. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here. I don't know if y'all can still see the drone. Let me make sure y'all can still see the drone. So the drone is right there. Come up just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the right. I'm gonna do a dolly shot to the right. Go slow. Go slow up. Wait a minute. Alright, let me line this up perfectly. Okay. Go slow, go slow, go slow. There we go. There we go. Looking good on video go kind of angle up oh that looks really good I really like that shot now I'll just keep going as you can see the drone is pretty low to the ground it's only like two feet off the if that like a foot and a half uh, so let me go all the way down <laughs> that's a street right there make sure I don't go to the street <laughs> don't want my <laughs> don't want those cars to take out my drone so let me come on back 
Go slow, go slow, go slow. All right, coming on back. Coming on back. That looks good. Oh, I'm going a little too fast. So let me do that shot one more time. The thing about getting stock footage, you're going to have to do it many times. So let me, already got the shot going, so let me just go down here and I'm just going to come back. Make sure y'all can see those cars are zooming by, so I don't want my car being taken. Your car don't turn and all right so let's go slow go slow go slow go slow there we go coming back that's a nice shot I think I got it all right so as you can see so let me stand behind the camera here let's look at ourselves oh <laughs> okay all right let me turn back around so we're going to go at an angle now I'm gonna go at an angle. So it's showing stuff is overblown. Alright, so I know y'all can't see me. Y'all about to see the drone come back in in the shot in a minute. Okay, coming through, We're moving. Oh, fellas, sorry, I kind of slowed down. Let's do that one more time. Well, we can go backwards. So we're going to back up, go real slow. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to hit my camera. The wind is actually blowing pretty strong. I don't know if you can tell. I don't think you can. So we're just going to back up. We're going to go real slow back. Give a nice cinematic shot. Back up. Like that. Okay. Alright, that's good. We stop right there. Oh, I really like that uh, sunlight. That, how it's hitting the lens. So let's go. Try to get this shot on the first try. Come on back. Come on back, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's nice. That was a good shot. So I'm just gonna back up one more time. I really like that shot. Make sure I capture the sun. Make sure I get that sun. That's nice. Okay, that's nice. Let's hold it there for a few seconds. All right, that's good. All right, no cars coming. I'm still in the street. Let's move forward. There we go. There we go. That looks nice. That looks real nice. Move forward. There we go. We can stop right there. Now, there's another shot I would like to get. And we're gonna get this one of Selena. And I'm actually gonna come down. So let me line up this shot perfectly. So let me put the camera over here where I'm gonna be at. And we're gonna get this wire right here these wires that kind of come down so we're going to we're going to actually start from the top but I need to make sure that my shot is lined up right there we go now this is going to be a little tricky but it's okay 
we can get this shot. Oh, my drone don't want to stay steady. Okay, so I want to be about right here. Okay, so we're going to line this up. Yeah, I want to be about right, right here. Oh. Okay, so we're going to go up like that. I'm not filming right now. We come down. That's the shot we want. Now, see how it's, it's really blown out. So, we just want to come down. Real slow. Reveal the shot. Or reveal the mural. Like that. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I wanted to be a little bit more over to the left. So we're gonna do it one more time. Let me see. All right, here we go. Let me see. Uh, all right, so let's go up. Uh, all right, now we're coming down. Coming down, coming down. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. There we go. Oh, I really like that. Ah, oh, I think I think that's probably gonna be the best we can get. I really like that shot. Okay, so let's go over to the George Floyd one. Same thing. We're just gonna come down. And we don't have to go all the way up. Okay, go a bit. Alright, so let's come down. Uh, there we go. That's nice. All right. So I think that's the best we're going to get it on that. Let me brighten this up a little bit. All right. So I'm just going to do that shot one more time. Coming this way. Dolly into the left. Now y'all can see. And I might have to move the camera because I might want to. Uh, give me a warning, let me know. I'm too close for that object there. As you all can see, this is a very good drone. Extremely good drone. Let me see here. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> some people might say my head is too close to those propellers, but you get used to it after a while. All right, so let me dolly to the left, but at an angle. Let me just go. That's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. I'll put all this up on the screen. And let me come back. I want to get those wires right there in the foreground. Let me come on back. Come on back. Kind of circle and go around. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. That is nice. Oh, I got it. I got it. There we go. So let me just see that if I can get that shot coming back. Let me try not to rush because sometimes you be in the habit of rushing. Ah, I'm going too fast. Yeah, I'm going too fast. I'm not, ah, uh, I didn't turn. Okay. So what we're going to do, let me get this over here. So we're going to move this, and we're going to angle it this way. Sorry if the camera is kind of lopsided. Let me bring the drone this way.
going to get this side over here. I think I should fix my thing here. Brighten this up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to film this. So we're going to film this right here. And what we're going to do is bring it near the drone, the camera, I mean. So as y'all see, I'm just going to try to go to the left and kind of angle it around this pole. Uh, I'm going too fast. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. So let me, you know what, let's go kind of low. We're going to go kind of low. I want to, this is, uh, gears are, la oh, well, coming down. They think I'm trying to land and I'm not. But we're going to go kind of low here. And I'm going to try to circle this around. So, make sure. Let me just concentrate. Yeah. Uh, that's too fast. That's too fast. Let me bring it back. Bring it back. That was too fast. Man, when I be going to the left, sometimes I just go way too fast. Still going too fast. Let me just turn it around. That looks good though. Oh, that looks good. Okay, y'all, I need to bring it back because just let me know the battery is just too low and I'm pretty sure y'all heard that. And I don't want this thing doing anything. I'm come back, land it, and that's going to complete this video. Oh, this looks good. Oh, I went too fast at the end, y'all. All right, let me land the drone. You know, I just want, like I say, I just wanted to get out here, fly around, get some stock footage of these murals, tell y'all a little bit about Graffiti Park. I know I didn't go into a lot of detail and stuff like that, so hopefully next time, I go out, I can be more detailed on what I'm doing and stuff like that, but <laughs> like y'all probably, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but there's a lot of people moving around asking questions and things like that, so it's kind of hard to move the drone around and really get the shot I want to, but like I say, no big deal. You got to learn how to work in adverse situations and things like that, so type of stuff like that don't offend me at all. Uh, but once again, thank you for joining. Um, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just hit me up. Um, comment, ask a question, whatever, I'll do my best to answer. All right, talk to you later, or see you later. All right, y'all, that's the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, just came down here to get some drone shots, some stock footage of the graffiti park, the murals down here of these um, great artists that put up these murals. And like I said earlier, they usually change them out every few months. Some of them have been here for a long time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I <laughs> um, shared information with you all that y'all can use. Um, and if not, just ask or comment or tell me, um, comment. Let me know if, if there's anything that y'all would like to see that I did not do down here or anything like that. Would y'all like to see more about the drone? Today was not about the drone. It was more about getting stock footage. So, but I can go more into flying inspired to how is it flying the Inspire 2? The reason I actually love, I love the Inspire 2. It changed, I, trust me, I've had quite a few drones and the Inspire 2 has been <laughs> an amazing drone to fly because you get footage that you cannot get out of just, you know, the other DJI drones and stuff like that. Hopefully I can move up to the Inspire 3, but just a little bit out of my budget right now. But anyway, like I say, I just want to come out here and get some stock footage shoot into the shadows, see how well the ProRes RAW um, holds up in these harsh shadows and, and things like that. So I'm gonna edit the footage, put it all together, and I'll put it up. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this, you know, so see you soon.